Breaking tonight on Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock. Take a look at this tanker carrying seven thousands of gas. It's burning now after a crash on Highway 16. Channel 9 was there when it burst into flames. Tonight, firefighters are trying to get this put out. Gas is spilling everywhere, including into a nearby creek. You're watching Eyewitness News live at 5. Yeah, this story's really been breaking right before our eyes this afternoon. Firefighters rushing over to try to contain this. It's a fire on the side of Highway 16. Now, this is the second time this week a tanker has crashed and spilled gas into a local creek. This one happened near the Westport community around 2.30 this afternoon. Channel 9's Ken Lemon is out there live tonight. Ken, it was hours after this crash that you actually saw it burst into flames. Yeah, I saw that happen. As a matter of fact, crews are now suddenly uh, right at this moment getting control of the scene. I want you to see right back here accident here on Highway 16. That tanker truck right back there. One person died in that crash. They were able to get that individual out before the fire started. And I want you to take a look from Chopper 9 and you can see how far it extends. You see Killian Creek, part of that creek now on fire in this area. This was just a simple accident scene for a while here. As a matter of fact, I was nearby shooting video when the crews told me back up just for safety precaution then all of a sudden I heard a sound like a door closing across the street very loudly and I want to take you to what I saw suddenly there were flames up there were firefighters running everywhere moving trucks getting them away backing us up some of that video is shaky because I'm on the move at this time I suddenly get this thing stabilized and you can see it flare up again and again and again right over this tanker hit the grass in the area and at one point I could actually hear hear those sounds again off in the distance and I can see a column of gray smoke pulling up. We know this tanker had seven, six to seven thousand gallons worth of fuel on it. They were going to offload it. They were worried that some of it spilled over to Killian Creek and I'm told that they're working with emergency officials. They were working with the emergency officials on cleanup that has to look very different right now since all of this happened in this area. I was waiting, standing by, waiting for an update from an emergency official that got on the scene um, just a little while ago, trying to get the latest information when this just suddenly happened and it changed everything. At that latest update, before this all started, I was told it would be hours before this had, they had this area, Highway 16 and St. James uh, Church Road open again. That has to be delayed even more right now. Traffic being diverted around in Denver, right at Highway 73. It's gonna cause a huge traffic jam and we're not sure about the environmental impact of it yet. We're still out here with Chopper 9 in the air, me on the ground waiting for officials to give us an update. And as soon as we get more information, we'll bring, bring that to you. Back to you guys. All right, Ken, and we just want to go back again to these live pictures from Chopper 9. You can see this fire continuing to burn here on Highway 16 in Lincoln County. Um, you can imagine, of course, firefighters knew this was a risk. Ken talking about a sounding like a door closing. That's the whoosh you can sometimes get as flames or gas from flames will ignite. Firefighters here, you can see attacking this with that foam from both sides of the tanker truck. But as Ken mentioned, um, any timeline as for when Highway 16 here will be reopened has been pushed back immensely. The other concerns, again, a nearby creek, the concerns about containing that, but that all switched over to just concerns about making sure there's no more flames, no more explosion here. All right, um, again, from Chopper 9 Sky Zoom here, looks like they're making progress. You see firefighters there on the scene, but I did note some uh, flames down there in the woods, some of that fuel catching fire. Uh, you can see the natural flow of the gas would follow the natural flow of water, uh, so that could be going to the creek that they're talking about. Firefighters will, of course, try to get that under control as well. I want you to stay with us here at Channel 9. We'll continue to dip back into these live pictures. I mean, it's going quite a ways into the woods. That's at least probably 200 yards uh, from where Ken is standing. Now, Ken, if you can hear me, we're seeing this the flames from this fire actually going several hundred yards into the woods. I'm assuming following the, the local creek or the local waterway there, I, I doubt you can see it from where you're standing, but it's like a line of fire that's going into the woods several hundred yards right now. Firefighters are focused on that tanker truck. We're seeing some really big flames and major concern um, that this will, will spread. Ken, what can you tell us? Yeah, I, I can tell you that earlier they were really focused on the grass and they were focused on getting down to the river. And like you said, just uh, within the last few seconds while I was with you here live, they immediately switched their focus and they went back over to that tanker truck. I want to show you real quick what they're doing right now. They're putting water on that right 
in this area here, and you can see that truck again. Fortunately, the one individual who, dece who died in this truck, they were able to get that body out before all of this started, but they were concerned that something could ignite the flames. We know with this situation, when you have this much fuel, even just the fumes alone, uh, any spark could cause that uh, fire to start. And this thing suddenly went up. And I want to show you back over here. I know we have Chopper 9, but from a ground eye view, ground eye view, this is what I can see here. This is that smoke back over near the creek in that area you spoke about 200 yards away. And Chopper 9 has that image there of the flames that were on the water. One of the things about this is a lot of times when you get oil or something like this, it'll stay right on the surface. So as the truck ignited, as those Flames went downhill along with all of the, the gas. We we're not sure exactly how much of that spilled off. It, of course, hit the, uh, the gas on that water there and caused the fire there. Again, you can see firefighters here on the ground running over, trying to get this under control right now. We are safe at this moment, but a little bit earlier, I was over near the trees, uh, not very far away from this thing, just across the street, and they suddenly said, get back, get back. One firefighter did get a, a minor injury from what we can tell whenever that happened. They were moving anything and everything they could out of the way to make sure that nobody was hurt and that none of the apparatus also caught on fire. You can only imagine how bad that would be if a fire truck caught on fire out here. Uh, I am waiting now and it looks like we may have somebody who will come over and give us an update. So I'm going to get that update and then come back with you guys with new information. And uh, Ken, if you get that in the next uh, a minute or so, perhaps we can carry that live. Uh, go ahead and please try to talk to your sources out there. I, I don't know if we can talk to uh, Andy yeah. Holt, who's been Ron? up above here, um, but he's been up above the scene for some time. Um, Andy, can you hear me? All right, right now, Andy, perhaps more focused on flying, uh, certainly when you've got other traffic up there as well. Um, but um, Ken's saying that when he showed up, the, the tanker was not Andy, burning. And of course, um, as shortly after he got there, was trying to get some video recorded is when the flames erupted from that tanker. I'm told this is uh, Killian Creek in this area that you're seeing some of that fuel flowed down into. If you're just joining us, Highway 16 in Lincoln County closed. A tanker truck flipped, was leaking fuel that caught fire. Uh, they're trying to get the tanker fire contained, but there's a long line of fire going probably a quarter mile at this point into the woods. Um, perhaps that will burn itself off rather quickly, but we've seen some pretty good flames. Um, we have had rain recently, which could be a good news. And of course, if it's in a creek, um, it's full of water and therefore it would just burn at the top of that water and, and perhaps burn itself off. Um, it, probably some more units could be rolling this way as well. All right, we're trying to get um, Chopper 9 pilot Andy Holt because I want his perspective about exactly when he was able to arrive at the scene. All right, Andy, hey, it's Scott. Um, I just wanted to ask you, at, at the point when you got there, was the tanker burning at that point? And have you been able to see how the flames kind of made their way down into the creek? Um, was it just kind of like you see in the movies where a, they light something and then it snakes along the line of the gas? What, what did you see up there? Yeah, Scott, we saw uh, smoke from the uh, Chopper 9 pad as we took off heading this way, uh, you know, a good 20 miles away. And we got here on the scene, the creek was actually uh, on fire, but the truck was out. And as we were taking shots of the uh, flames down in the creek bed there, the, the uh, tanker actually caught fire and, and they quickly put that out. There's still some flames there underneath there, but the creek bed is entirely on fire for well, probably about 100 yards, Scott, all the way from the tanker area there where it's leaking into the creek all the way uh, to the to the north there for about an 150 yards. All right, Chopper 9 pilot Andy Hull, uh, thank you for that. Uh, the hope would be that some of this could burn itself off, um, uh, that it's just sitting on top as fuel would do on top of the water, but uh, quite a bit of flames now. Uh, Eric is joining me back here um, at the desk. Um, it looks like, Erica, they've got some hoses now pulled out here into the woods to try to get this creek put out. And, of course, many firefighters battling to get that tanker truck put out. But uh, uh, they've got a pretty steep slope, it looks like, here. They're going to have to have a long line of hoses to work on this. Yeah, it would only take just a minute for one of these flames to pop over into some dry brush and really ignite this area. We're seeing large plumes of smoke. When you take the wider shot, you can see the skyline. And there is a lot of smoke coming up from this area. We saw the firefighters are running over to different areas trying to put this out. 
but it looks like they've got a long line of flames that they now need There's to contain. Um, you can hear our chopper pilot Andy Holt talking about that as well, and you can see it's dim in some points, but then when you reach other points, the flames are very, very large and tall. As we go back to uh, what started all of this, and it looks like more flames now, Scott, emitting from uh, the tanker truck. So as they are continuing to try to put it out, it is resisting uh, being doused by all of this. So it looks like um, this fire is really going to give firefighters a fight to get it out completely. I'm told we've just been able to rack up some of the video Ken shot of the explosion. If we can go, we're all seeing this for the first time. Uh, there's what Andy was talking about, how they were trying to put out the creek. And this is the moment when the truck, the tanker itself caught fire while the creek was burning and they were trying to get that put out is when this uh, either erupted for the first time or they had it out and it re erupted. This is about the time Ken Lemon got here at this scene, but you can see right there just a lot of fuel there in the roadway. A very dangerous situation as well. Uh, Ken said he's going to be talking to some people to get more information. Some of the firefighters out there, of course, they're busy right now. Stay with Channel 9 as we continue to follow this developing story over the next 90 minutes.